Hi. Hope you are doing great. So before you this morning uh, is uh, one of our fish here in our farm. Uh, as you can see, uh, it was uh, cannibalized uh, by the herders. You know, uh, cannibalism talks about uh, fishes eating uh, one another up. And uh, as you guys know that uh, fishes are cannibalistic uh, in nature. And uh, cannibalism has been a uh, one uh, major occurrence in all the fish farms. It's not uh, something we can actually eradicate, but it's something we can really uh, uh, reduce. Uh, fishes are cannibalized uh, uh, due to uh, several reasons. It might be uh, due to territory fight for territorial space. It might be due to uh, sizes. Maybe their sizes are not uniform. There are some bigger ones and the smaller ones in the same pond. And it might be due to a uh, disease. You know, when fishes are uh, perceive a smell of blood on others as uh, they tend to uh, prey on the on the one that uh, has blood stain on its body. So uh, this morning I uh, will be showing you guys what we use in our farm here to treat uh, cases like this. What we use is uh, we use uh, salt. We use salt uh, which we all know as uh, sodium chloride. We use salt to uh, treat them once we uh, isolate them you know this is one of the uh, uh, reasons why uh, we will always advise farmers to be always uh, watchful in their farm and they should always be present in their farms because uh, let's assume there is no one on the farm we won't be able to uh, remove this fish and this fish you are looking at is almost up to a kg so uh, thank god we, <laughs> we didn't lose the fish so uh, we'll be showing you guys how we treat uh, fishes uh, once we see that uh, they are being sick or being cannibalized we'll show you guys what to use what to use here is salt sodium chloride we'll show you guys how to apply it so uh, we have a uh, sodium chloride with us uh, a salt solution uh, so this is what uh, we majorly use to uh, treat our sick fishes in our farm here and uh, it has been working perfectly well for us so as you can see just uh, pick up uh, a tablespoon and uh, you will be uh, applying it on the fish you might decide to spread it on the water or on the fish any which one you're okay with and uh, after applying it you would have to leave this fish like this for about 20 to 30 minutes if you are using a pond where you'll be leaving the fish you can decide to just uh, top up the water or and if you are transferring it to another pond just uh, remove it after 30 minutes and place it in another pond and if you are using this particular pond for uh, for isolating the fish you can just top of the water to a reasonable uh, level and uh, leave it for about uh, three to four days after three to four days you can remove it the fish will be uh, perfectly okay then you can return the fish back uh, to uh, its uh, normal pond to where the others are so uh, that's that about that for today uh, if you love uh, what you've seen don't forget to hit the like button if you're on uh, Facebook can you like my Facebook page if you're on uh, YouTube, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel and if on Twitter, kindly follow us on Twitter. Uh, thank you for watching today's video. Do enjoy the rest of your day.